Hey, my name is Jamie McCready. I'm the Infection Prevention Nurse and Safety Officer here at Cumberland Healthcare. I want to take a little bit of your time today and talk about safer at home as well as mask etiquette and glove etiquette while out in public. Governor Evers put the safer at home policy in place to help stop the spread of COVID-19. Some of the things to remember is it is still okay to go to the grocery store, but sometimes we're noticing that people are going to the grocery store and wearing gloves while they're touching all kinds of items in the store, as well as not necessarily wearing a mask the way that they're intended. So I wanna take a few minutes and talk about those things. When you're wearing a mask, you have the option of wearing a cloth mask. A lot of community members have graciously made these masks for um, us here in healthcare, as well as people that are out in the public. And you also have the option of a surgical mask if you have that in your inventory. The first thing that you're going to do is do hand hygiene. You're going to rub all of the surfaces of your hand, including between your fingers, as well as both of your thumbs. When you're handling a mask, you should handle the mask by the straps of the mask, regardless if they have the straps that tie behind your head or the ones that loop around your ears. I prefer the ones that loop around my ears. This one here is a cloth mask that one of our community members have made for us. I'm going to put this mask on over my face, my nose, and my mouth, and up and around my ears. I'm going to adjust the mask so that it's covering both of those areas, and I'm going to do hand hygiene again, because if this is not the first time that I wore this mask today, the outside of the mask as well as the inside of the mask is contaminated with both exterior germs as well as my germs. When I adjust this mask, I'm going to also do hand hygiene afterwards, as well as I'm going to try to do the adjustment of my mask by the straps, as those are the cleanest parts of the mask. To remove the mask, I'm going to go up over my ears and pull the mask off. Best practice would be for you to be able to hang your mask like this um, on a hook in your home or perhaps in your car if that's where you utilize your mask most frequently when out and about in public. Another option would be placing it on a surface, but placing it sur the inside of the mask down on the surface that you're putting it on. And then of course, making sure to clean that surface when you're done. And again, doing hand hygiene after you've removed your mask. Some of the things that we've noticed while people are out in public is that they're wearing their masks in, in different ways. As I said before, you're going to put it over your nose and your mouth and cover both of those areas. Sometimes we're seeing people wear their masks like this so that it's below the nose, as well as some people, particularly when they're talking, are pulling the mask down so that their mouth is uncovered. The way for us to wear our mask is so that it's up over our nose and covering our mouth. Another option for masks that you might have available to you is what's called a surgical mask or a medical grade mask. This mask is designed the same way as my cloth mask is. The only difference between this one is when I put it up over my nose, there is a little wire within here that I'm going to form so that it's over my nose. If you'll notice on the cloth mask, there are pleats in the cloth mask. The purpose of this is so that I pull it down so that it's below my chin not up on my chin like this. That isn't providing as much protection for you or others around you. So let's take a minute and talk about why we would wanna wear a mask while we're in public. The CDC did recommend that we wear masks while we're out in public. A couple of those reasons are it helps you if you're out in public to make sure that you are covering your cough if you have a cough or recovering your sneeze. So making sure that you're following good respiratory hygiene practices. Another option would be coughing into your elbow or into your shirt to make sure that you're catching all of those things. So let's talk about how COVID is spread. As well as many other respiratory viruses, COVID is spread by me coughing or sneezing and it going either into the eyes, nose, or mouth of the person sitting across from me if they happen to be talking or inhaling at the time that I have a cough or a sneeze. The other way that it happens is I cough or I sneeze and all of the things, if I don't cover it, all of the things on my desk here is now covered with it. So everything here would be covered with droplets. So the contact that I have with everything on the desk, if I don't utilize hand hygiene prior to touching to my face or my eyes, my nose and things like that is how I can transmit COVID to myself. So some of those things have led to people wearing gloves um, while they're out in public. One of the things that gloves do when we're out in public is it actually decreases the amount of times
that you're utilizing hand hygiene. It gives you kind of a false sense of security that your hands are remaining clean because you have gloves on. However, if I'm a cashier at a gas station or one of the local businesses, or I'm going through and touching all of the things within the store, and I'm still touching my face, or I'm still coughing into my hand and things like that, and not utilizing hand hygiene, I'm contaminating everything that I'm touching. As well as if I'm taking money and handling money, every person's money I'm touching my gloves without utilizing hand hygiene. So wearing gloves in public can sometimes give us this false sense of security that we don't need to do hand hygiene because we're wearing gloves. But the same is true, the purpose of that is so that we're touching things, not so that we have our hands protected. It isn't absorbed through our skin, it's absorbed through going into our eyes, nose, and mouth. That's why the don't touch your face. If you are gonna utilize gloves for, to avoid cross-contamination, you need to remove the gloves properly. Removing the gloves by pulling at each cuff and rolling the glove up over upon itself, grabbing the glove with your other hand, and then grabbing the cuff of the other glove, and again, rolling that up over the top of the other glove and throwing it in a waste container. Taking your gloves off by pulling on the fingers and pulling them off like that with the intention of reuse is never recommended, regardless if it's healthcare, out in public, or food service. Um, remember, if you have any questions, we do have a COVID triage line, as well as you can dial 211 for Barron County for further information. And thank you for listening today. Have a great day.